We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. They say there are only two things certain in life, sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little With extra. a little extra. Uncensored. Unedited. And almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. I wasn't ready. I was looking at baseball highlights. Oh, I thought. I didn't know what was going on. Paul Skeens made the All Stars. I'm gonna have so to take sweet. that week off. That was so nice. When is the mm-hmm. All Star game? I don't know. I don't know. I would ban non American flags at it, though. I know that. Home run derbies and everything. <laughs> you said you ban non American flags? Yeah. Do they, is that a big deal? Used to be. I don't know. I haven't seen it since, since that. When is July 6th? Oh, next Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. A week from tomorrow, I guess. He's a rookie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. He's uh, made 10 starts. He's 5-0. and oh. And in the other five games, I think, were they – he was only – they well, they were at least tied. Yeah, in, when in, he left the game. Yeah. They were tied or ahead in every game when he left the game. He, he easily should be – two of those games I know they blew. He had the lead when he left, and so they ended up losing the game. So that he should be at least 7, seven or 8-0, and oh, something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. And um, always pitched at least six innings. And was it 78 strikeouts? Mm-hmm. Dang. More, more. He's the first rookie yeah. to ever hit 70 strikeouts in his first nine games, nine starts. So he's, he's doing pretty well. He's doing okay. And then um, that little uh, Livy Dunn, that's his girlfriend, they was out in the paper, in the uh, not the paper, on the news sites yeah. and all, that uh, she left a vacation in the Hamptons with her girls to join him and support him as he pitched for against the Mets the other night. Well, of course. What's the big deal about that? Yeah. She's very attractive. And and the Hamptons, not that far from New York. Mm-hmm. I, I thought she was a tiny little thing, that Ivy Dunn. I thought she is, too. She's Somebody not. says she's 5'8". Oh. She's 5'6", according to Google. 5'6"? Mm-hmm. Still, that's a lot taller than I thought she was. And the fact that Rob didn't have to Google that. That's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> but then just said, according to Google, means that he's Googled it in the past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How tall? According to all the screenshots in my phone. Five, <laughs> six. <laughs> On October 1st, 20, 2002. Uh, 2002. I was a daggum junior in high school. Yeah. yeah, she's two years younger than my daughter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, mm. my, my daughter, though, uh, had to experience some uh, real world stuff over the weekend, Ace, because um, she had to work on the 5th. Yep. You know, party on the 4th, got to tone it down at night. So you can be up on the 5th. Mm hmm. Well, but she's not a big partier, though, so it's not like she was out partying. Uh, no, 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 no. But still, just having to you know, work. Get up and go to work on a day when normally she yeah. she's never had to do that. She's working in a grown up job now, um, and let's see, she's not gonna get but just you know your regular Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day yeah. off, and she's got to work up till New Year's Day, and that's it. Back to life, man. Maybe even has to work New Year's <clears throat> Day. I'm not sure. We were talking about that the other day that. Uh, in radio, in radio, the way it used to be, it's not. It's all computerized now. It's so much different. But <laughs> and you can hardly tell. Yeah. But when, 
But it, on Christmas, when I was doing nights, I did seven to midnight. And at Christmas, Christmas Eve, they turned it on this computer satellite thing at seven o'clock and it ran until seven o'clock the next night. So I always got Christmas Eve off, but Christmas night, I had to go back into work to take the radio stations, plural, off of the satellite and go back on live. So for a couple of years there, yeah, I worked every Christmas night, which was no big deal. By then you were, it was cool. We were, you know, yeah. festivities were pretty much over for the day. It was no, not a thing. Mm-hmm. I was ready to get in there and go to work. It was fun. You just had to do your drinking on Christmas Eve instead. Yeah. And not that I do a lot of drinking on Christmas. Okay. Not sorry. like now. Not like now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I drink a lot more on Christmas than I used to. <laughs> so we're going to Louisiana next week. That's our, our vacation. We're going to Louisiana to visit Jody's family. Last year we went and visited my family in Louisiana yeah. and Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Um, and her dad texted me yesterday, what kind of beer are you drinking now? Hmm. Have I ever switched? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so he doesn't drink beer anymore. He doesn't drink anything anymore. Mm. So he's no fun. Oh well, gosh. Didn't, didn't beer give him the flu that one time? No, that was <laughs> um, that was the first time he ever tasted uh, Fireball. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fireball gave him yeah, the flu. <laughs> with, with my friends, yeah. Fireball gave him the flu. Mm-hmm. But uh, he had some medical issues uh, recently, and so he just quit drinking altogether. Well, and um, so I didn't know that he would even go buy beer, you know, ahead of time before I arrive. But evidently he is. Man, he's planning way out, though. If he's already hitting you up this weekend, you know, 10 days earlier or whatever it is. Well, I mean, it's Jody's dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should tell him you started drinking that stuff Rob had the other day. That was the Mountain Dew spiked hard. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Zero sugar. What state is it in? Crazy juice. <laughs> Louisiana. Oh, never mind. If it was, I was trying to figure out if it was somewhere that had hard Mountain Dew. If TJ could get it for me, <laughs> hard Mountain Dew. <laughs> well, um, they don't have hard Mountain Dew in Louisiana. No, I don't think so. I figure they would have every type of alcohol there is <laughs> in Louisiana would, and Mountain Dew. I'm surprised <laughs> yeah. that they don't have that. Yeah, I because be they don't have Sun Drop in any other type of citrus beverage, really, except. Maybe a mellow yellow here or there. Mellow yellow's good. But the, yeah, they don't have sun drop in Louisiana, I don't think. They didn't when I lived there. It's just the southeast thing. Sun drop's good. Yeah, I mean, that is surprising. Yeah, surely they have it. I would imagine. Your mother in law doesn't drink? No, not at all. She used to drink the occasional um, frozen pina colada, but it would just be one. Mm hmm. If I made them on vacation or something, yeah. yeah. To to even imagine my mother in law losing a smidgen of control of herself in any way of any emotion or anything. Uh, imagine that. That's an admirable quality. <laughs> yeah, she's, I admire that. In people. She's she's wonderful. But she's always even keel, even when bad stuff's going on or whatever. She's just always in control. My father-in-law's the same way. <laughs> <laughs> he and Jody, they're the same way, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be um, heat index usually will – at this time of year, every day will be over a hundred. Right. Um, my sister's been keeping me posted, yeah. but she counts the heat index as a temperature. Yeah. One hundred eight today. <laughs> so I start looking them up. Like, mm, yeah, it's ninety eight, but the heat index is one hundred eight. You know, <laughs> it's, it's hot. I guess. Yeah, it was one twenty seven or something in Palm Springs yeah. over the weekend. It's like this is crazy. One hundred and twenty seven degrees. So Saturday afternoon, you know, because this is uh, the age that I married into, we had a kid's birthday party to attend. Uh, great couple um and they had a it was kind of an indoor outdoor thing but when we got there you walk around to the back and they had uh for the bigger kids they had a big uh inflatable slide deal and they had a little play area for the smaller kids and all that and it was kind of a hawaiian theme so you wore like a hawaiian shirt kind of deal it's fine whatever it was really well set up uh a lot of fun they're so the couple's super cool i love them very much they're great but uh standing around i thought man 
have I sweat through the back of this shirt? I've been there about 15 minutes. Like, yeah. I think I have. And I started glancing around. I was like, if I have, I'm in good company because I'm not the only person standing around. <laughs> yeah, it was so hot it, Saturday. It was it really was. hot. But I think that should be in the contract. What? That's one of the things that should be in the contract. Okay, I'm, I'm going to marry you. I want to marry you, and you're so much younger. But in this deal, uh, I don't ever have to go to a kid's birthday party that's not my own kid. Oh, it's only know. my kid. I'm just saying for me, that yeah. would have to be in the contract. Um, and I would say, you know, only this many pictures of our food at a restaurant before I could start <laughs> eating. Yeah. You know, every third time you can take a picture of whatever it is with the menu and, and that sort of thing. I may sit down and just actually compile an entire list. If I married a young woman. These would be your rules? These would be TJ. my rules. A couple of quotas. Because yeah. I know they're just hordes of young women out there wanting to marry up with me. <laughs> <laughs> they need to know gotta, the rules. Yeah, now. I got to set the ground rules for them. It's the Ace and TJ Show with a little something extra. This is the Extra Funny Podcast. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here, and we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck, or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719, or log on to homewithrichard.com. And you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com. It's the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies. Equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin.